Unlocking the heat. Understanding, the sun is blazing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a vivid and commonly used expression, the sun is blazing. This phrase is not only a reflection of weather conditions but also a beautiful example of the language's richness. So, let's decode its meaning, usage, and the imagery it evokes, to help you shine in English conversations. When someone says, the sun is blazing, they're painting a picture with words. This phrase describes a situation where the sun is shining very strongly and the heat is intense. It's not just a sunny day, it's much hotter than that. The word, blazing, implies a fierce, almost burning quality to the sunlight, suggesting that the heat could be overwhelming or uncomfortable. The beauty of the phrase, the sun is blazing, lies in its ability to conjure up a vivid image. It makes you think of a day where the sun dominates the sky, casting powerful rays that heat everything beneath. This phrase is often used in both literary contexts, to set a scene or mood, and in everyday language, to comment on the weather. Examples in sentences, I stepped outside, and immediately felt the heat. The sun was blazing. They decided to cancel the picnic because the sun was blazing and it was too hot to be outdoors. Interestingly, the sun is blazing can also reflect cultural attitudes towards weather. In regions where intense sunshine is common, this phrase might be used frequently during certain times of the year. It's a reminder of how language adapts to the environment and how people relate to their surroundings through words. Furthermore, this expression can be metaphorically extended to describe someone's strong emotions or a heated situation, showcasing the versatility of English phrases. We hope this exploration of, the sun is blazing, has illuminated not just its meaning, but also the rich imagery and cultural significance behind it. English is full of expressions that bring color and life to our conversations, and understanding them is key to mastering the language. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you feel a bit warmer, linguistically speaking, for it. Stay curious, and keep exploring the beauty of English with us.